Hey everyone, Jason here is Spying Entrepreneur and in this Fiverr review video, we're gonna be looking at six marketing gigs that you probably should never buy. And so this comes out of my own personal experience as well as some other YouTubers and my client's experience as well. But to be somewhat constructive with this list, I'm also going to tell you what you can do so you could sidestep some of these traps and scams, but there is a lot of landmines and a lot of these gigs will actually wind up hurting your marketing and your online brand as opposed to helping. So kicking things off at number six is SEO backlinks. And as the world of SEO continues to change, one of the constants is Google is always looking to make sure that your links, your website, your content is relevant to whoever is searching for it. And so one of the things you really, really want to watch out for, and a reason why I just don't recommend anyone get backlinks from Fiverr is because most of those gigs for 20, even if you pay $30, a lot of those gigs are just spamming links with either robots or they just go on random blogs and spam your links all over the place. That actually winds up hurting your site because Google looks at it and just sees that you're spamming links everywhere to unrelated content. So the only way that this is actually going to work is if you're actually actually able to find someone who manually builds links for you and builds links on actual related sites and sites that have a good authority ranking with Google. And so that's really, really hard to find on the platform. And speaking of spam, number five is YouTube views. You definitely don't want to pay for YouTube views for the obvious reason that it's against terms of service. And if you get caught, your channel is going to be hit pretty hard. But on top of that, even though I read reviews, I reached out to individual sellers and I asked for examples and I went and analyzed those examples, I still got smacked with robots being sent to my videos. And so again, 9.9 .9 out of 10 of the gigs that even if they say they're going to promote your video, wind up just using some sort of spam to artificially boost your view count. And YouTube knows that those views are fake and it's actually not going to help you. In fact, it can just send your video straight to the graveyard and you will never show up in search related search again. So if you do want to experiment with these types of gigs, make sure you do it on a old vlog if you're vlogging or an old video that isn't performing and you're okay if it never gets another view in its lifetime. And number four is social sharing. So this kind of ties into the YouTube views. And this is, these are people who say, hey, pay me five or 10 bucks and I'll share my link on my Facebook page or I'll share your link in a bunch of Facebook groups or Twitter profiles or Tumblr is another popular one. And really these just come across as spam. And most of these accounts have been specifically designed to just spam links all day long. So you pay five or $10 to, yes, you'll promote your link to a bunch of people, but those people aren't looking. So if you want to be successful with this, number one, make sure that it's targeted. It's actually targeted. And number two, go actually look at the account that's going to be used and look at the engagement levels. Even some of those targeted gigs, the engagement levels are very, very low on those channels. And really, it's just going to hurt your brand if you pay someone 10 bucks to run around Facebook or Twitter or Tumblr spamming your link all over the place. And so number three has to do with blog networks. Now, this is kind of tied in with SEO, which is number six. But blog networks, for those of you who don't know, is a advanced SEO strategy for essentially creating articles and then linking back to your particular site. And so this is a much better way to build backlinks, and it's a much safer way to build backlinks. However, a lot of the blog networks that are used on Fiverr are actually just a bunch of spam, and they really don't actually get you all that much traction because what they do is they build site one, two, three, and four, and then they do a bunch of links in between them. And then they say, Hey, I have a blog network and I'll link to you, even though Google's already figured out that they just use four sites and they're bouncing links off each other. And so those links, A, aren't going to help you or B, will actually hurt your site authority. So just steer clear. Number two is fake views. And this is something that I see a lot of people doing, especially in the information marketing space. And look, I get it. You just launched your product. You just launched your course. No one's come to review it yet. And so you think, oh, maybe I'll just pay for a little review here or there just so I have something on my sales page or just so I have something in my sales video. And really, that's a big no-no. You're better off asking one of your best friends or family worker, family <laughs> workers, family members to just review the product for you. Because number one, these reviews, people can see them a mile away. I know there are some 
sellers who do a really good job, but those who do a really good job, guess what? They're on a lot of sites. And so you don't, the last thing you want is a customer coming to you know your site, going through your sales stuff, and then realizing that they've seen that reviewer before in another video. And number three, the reviewers mostly don't really take the time to really understand your product, let alone actually go through it. And so most of the superficial stuff they'll talk about won't actually really help your marketing message all that much because when you have real reviews, those real people actually represent the ideal customer or client that you're trying to sell to. And so the problems that they, they talk about in the review and what they appreciate about your course or service is going to speak to your potential customers or your potential clients significantly better than someone who's just going to read a script about a product that they've never Use. And number one is site speed. And these are gigs that promise you that they will essentially increase the speed of your WordPress site or your other site if you're using something other than WordPress. And really, if you want to speed up your site, you're going to have to go to a place like Upwork, hire an actual expert who's going to go through your site in depth, look for broken links, compress all of the images, and really nine out of 10 times, your site speed has so much more to do with your theme and your hosting than it does with anything you may or may not have done on your site. And so these gigs really don't help all that much. The only caveat here is if you can find a gig that will give you some sort of speed test or an in-depth report of what is slowing down your site, then that might be helpful. But even then, that report is only worth five or 10 bucks, and then you can go fix it yourself or find a real expert to speed things up. But like I said, the top two reasons your site might be slow is your theme or plugin or your hosting, not necessarily anything that someone can fix for five or 10 bucks. And so that does it for the six worst marketing gigs on Fiverr that you should probably never purchase. So I'm curious if I miss any. If I miss any or you've had actually had a good experience with one of these, go ahead and comment below. And if you got some value out of this video, go ahead and hit that like button and hit that subscribe button as well. Because over on my channel, I do marketing reviews like this one, as well as in-depth tutorials on everything it takes to bring a online business to life. So I encourage you to subscribe, go ahead and hit that like button, comment below if I missed a gig or you've had a good experience with one of these six. And until the next video, keep building the business you love. Take care.